Welcome to Excel Word and PowerPoint 2010 working together. In this video tutorial we're going to cover the steps involved in embedding data from Excel into Microsoft Word and then from Microsoft Word into PowerPoint. And our goal here is to have an Excel worksheet that an end user can manipulate data and have it dynamically update in a Microsoft Word program. And then from that Word program that'll be linked to a PowerPoint slideshow or presentation in which an individual can use this PowerPoint slideshow throughout a month or two months and as they use it it'll have always the most current data available because of the dynamically linked word file that's embedded in the presentation. Okay so a little back story is that while recently conducting some IC3 training, and I, I might add that IC3 is some of the best basic computer knowledge training that I've ever conducted personally. It's all-inclusive. It includes the computing fundamentals, key applications, which is Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, among others, and then also living online. It's, it's a fully encapsulated, a one-stop type of training. At any rate, Aside from that, while conducting some training with a local government agency here in the Central Valley of California, I was doing some key application instruction, and then some of the folks that were in class were asking questions such as, how do I embed a table or chart into Microsoft Word? And then through questioning them and asking specific questions, it turns out that they have this need where their consultants or counselors have a PowerPoint slideshow in which they want to embed this Word document that has a table and a chart in it and then they want it to have it where it's automatically updated. So these are the steps that I came up with. So here we have an Excel workbook where we have a number of worksheets in it. So this is the summary worksheet, so I'm going to do what's called a 3D referencing. You probably already know how to do this, and if so, this will be easy and a little refresher for you. I'm going to simply grab the total amount for Northeast Consulting from these other worksheets and total it here. So I'm going to do a formula equals sum. Then I'm going to go to these other worksheets and capture this one with a comma. It says and, so I'm going to say B5 from quarter one and... B5 from quarter 2 and with a comma, B5 from quarter 3 comma, B5 from quarter 4. And then I'm going to click my enter check mark and there's my total. Now I'm all about shortcuts so my shortcut here is to instead of doing the same formula for each of these I'm just going to simply drag this over nice and then drag it down. From there I say thank you Excel for making that easy. Okay, so now I have my basic data. From here, I want to create a chart. So I'm going to capture my information, and then I'm going to go to my insert chart. Let's do a column chart. Better yet, let's do a bar chart. That represents pretty nicely. Let's do a just a basic 2D. There it is. Move it over. I'm going to format it a little bit. Style 26 is always the way to go. So I'm going to open this up just a little. And there's my data pretty simple. So now here is my information that I want to populate and link to a Word document. So I'm going to grab my table first. I'll copy this. And then I'm going to go to my Word document. Here we are in our Word document and what you're looking at here on the screen is just some basic Word document. It is not really relative to this chart but it's just for demonstration purposes only. So I'm going to want to paste this right here below this first paragraph. So I'm going to come up to my Home tab, and in my clipboard group, I'm going to click the Paste drop-down. And I have a number of choices to choose from here within the Paste Options section. So I can choose this one, which is Keep Source Formatting, which means it'll paste the data as it is and keeping the, the Word document format. Or I can use the Use Destination Style, or I can use this one, Link and Keep Source Formatting. Okay, let's consider that. Or, and remember, keep source formatting means the format of whatever the Word document or destination program is. Or I can use this one, link and use destination style. 
or I can insert it as a picture itself, which means it's static information, right? Or I can hit paste only the text, which in some cases might be nice. So I'm going to use this one, link and keep source formatting. Now, if I look at this, I have my show hide on, which displays to me non-printing characters. So I want to auto-fit this like I would in Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to click this little box here, which selects my table. I'm going to come up to my Layout tab, and right here in my, my cell size group, I'm going to click the Auto Fit. And then I'm going to choose Auto Fit Contents, and it auto fits everything at once. That's pretty nice. Now, right below that, I want to put my chart. So I'm going to create a space there, go back to my Excel worksheet. Here's my chart. I'm going to copy that, go back to my Word document, and here I am, come up to my paste options and again I want to make it a link so it's dynamic and it will update as data changes in my Excel worksheet. So I'm going to come over to the use destination theme and it really makes no difference because the chart itself is already pre-formatted so I'll click this and it otherwise is linked. So there we go. Let's turn off our show hide to see how that looks. Nice. Let's center this maybe a little bit. Okay. So there it is. It looks good. So now I have a Word document that has otherwise canned information above and below it. And then what will change periodically might be the table itself and then the chart also. Of course, if I change the data in the Excel table, of course, the chart will change. So now here we go. We have this finished. Now I want to embed this into a PowerPoint presentation. So let's go to PowerPoint. Here we are inside of a just a basic for demonstration purposes only PowerPoint slideshow. So let's go to the second slide and we want to embed and link that Word document. So one way that I like to use is to capture a screenshot of the table information so that if we click on it it'll open up that Word document. So this is a kind of a neat little trick. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab, and right here in the Images group, I'm going to click Screenshot. And then down here, I'm going to click Screen Clipping. When I do, PowerPoint minimizes down and then gives me the other programs that might be open. And right now, Word is open. So I'm going to put my cursor right here so I can start my clicking. I'm going to click and drag to the right. Look at that. It's kind of neat. And then, boop, there we go. So it pastes that right in there for me. So I'll open this up just a little bit. And it's nice because it keeps the resolution. Now from here, I can get fanciful with it if I like. I'll click my Picture Styles Gallery, click the More button here. And let's say one that's kind of neat that caught the attention of some of my class participants was the... I w wanted to click on any one of these. That, that makes it interesting. I can choose one of these, one of these. There it is. That's the one that they particularly like because it drew in some interest. It's like, oh, that's neat. You're getting freestyle with this. So let's click this. Now, once we have that done, let's link this to the Word document. Now, remember, as a best practice, you want to keep your PowerPoint slideshow here that you're working on and the Word document that you're working on and the Excel worksheet all in the same folder. So. I'm going to right click on this, go to hyperlink, and then current folder. This is where I've created this information already. It's Again, it's just samples, and there's the Word document we just were working with. I'm going to click OK, and now it's linked. So when I go to run this, it's in slideshow view. I can click inside here, cursor over it. There's my link, and this is where it draws their attention. They go, okay, these, that's information that we are interested in. Let's open it up and take a look. Here's the document itself. I click on it. It goes right to my chart and everything else. Pretty nice. So here we are back at our PowerPoint slideshow, and I might go so far as to delete these. Now it's kind of cleaned up a little bit better. So let's test this out real quick just to make sure that it's going to update for us. So I'm in a new view here. If I look at my data, this is the Word document above, and this is the data down here. So if I go to, of course, the data won't be changed here. It'll change within the quarters. 
So if I go to quarter three, for example, and I change the marketing for Northeast from 20,000 to 30,000, it changes and it'll update in my table to 88,000. That changes, it'll change this total number to 253,922. Well, if we look, that hasn't been updated yet. So I need to come to my Word document, right click on it, update link, and it may format it a little bit differently. That's okay. We're going to just auto fit it again. There it is. And there's our total with the update. Now, if once I close this down, I'll give it a demonstration here. I'll save the changes. And then if I go back to my Word and open it up, it asks me, okay, there are, this document contains links that may refer to other files. Do you want to update this document with the data from the linked files? Yes. And when I do, it'll give me the update. I may have to go, there's little quirks here and there, but I may have to go so far as to come in and auto fit this content. No big deal. And there it is. It's updated every single time. Well, I hope this helps. And if you didn't know how to do this beforehand, well, now you know. And I encourage you to go out there and share this information, whoever might need help with this. Thanks, and take care.